Paper Mario The Rise of Voldemort is a fan-made non-profit audio drama made by and for the fans of Paper Mario, Harry Potter, DC, Frozen, and every other franchise depicted in this production. We do not own anything aside from the story. All characters and IP belong to their original owners. Please support the original production. Especially Batman, The Long Halloween, which is a really good book. This audio drama does contain adult language and some adult humor and themes. Viewer discretion is advised. We hope you enjoy. Was that a dragon? A ghost? A luchador? A porn star? Are you, I mean, you're fully clothed and whatnot. I'm just here. I mean, uh, uh, if, you, if you want me to, if you want me to call you uh, a finely dressed member of society, I can do that. The prisoners, the former Death Eater, the Muggle in the bat suit, the man in red, no taller than a fire hydrant. M M Mario? Uh, he, he and his gang left for the ministry. I don't know where they are, this lady. Honestly, and, uh, and uh, again. Uh, you, you're fine, and then not, not, not you, you, you look fine. Uh, you don't need to take your clothes off. That I just <laughs> hey, you. You left me like this. Left my home in shambles. Left me to rot. I will let you and your friends know the pain you inflicted upon me. I'm going to find you, Mario. It's a freezing here! Welcome to the Northern Fjords. It is known for its snow, but this is ridiculous. It's not even winter. Something is wrong. It's colder than my blood. Ah, a fellow cold-blooded friend. Nice. Ow! Go easy on the grip, man. My cowl is equipped with night vision lenses. With those, I can see through the storm. We need to cross the fjords quickly. Why such urgency? The more we dawdle, the stronger our enemies will get. We've seen how powerful Demenskar was. We can only assume that each of Voldemort's commanders will be more potent than the last. If my research is accurate, there's an old kingdom on the other side of the fjords. We can find help there. Let's get moving. to see anything. We're lost. We need to keep moving. How do you even know this is the right way? Because I am Batman. That doesn't make me feel reassured. I follow my gut, and my gut is never wrong. Every sentence you utter kills every bit of hope I have for navigating this damn storm. Wait, I see a building in the distance. Is it a mirage? not a mirage. That building is real. Plus, you would see mirages in extreme heat, not cold. Pretty sure you'd see them in both. Nah, it's heat exclusive. Trust me, I'm Batman. 
Let's see here. Morshu's Northern Inn. A hotel! Thank God! How am I tired? The more time we spend dilly-dallying, the stronger Voldemort gets. <sighs> Batman, be realistic. We are all exhausted from the Ministry escape. Plus, it is impossible to navigate in this blizzard. You might have night vision, but we don't. If we continue to press on, we will die. Fine. Traveling in the dark would be too dangerous. Let's head inside. Oh boy! So, are we going to get separate rooms, or are we going to sleep together? You sleep with Malfoy. Batman sleeps alone. As long as we get separate beds, I have no preference. My customers will come to more shots of order, but I am more shoot older and brighter than this mind is fabulation. But... Ah, the owner. Well, Mr. Morshu, we would like two rooms. Just for the night. We're trying to evade the storm. I see. This is in most form has been a problem for older and better since the invaders here. I don't know. Invaders? Fall of Arendelle, what are you talking about? You haven't heard about the and the hope some strange invaders show up with a anger full with nuns of fire and ice and many hannish proceeds to claim them the dark and random to make measures where the queen takes a fair anger since when the wicker has been out of control and there he may seize the massive wave of smoke and ice if his ruthless drink the might the blazer so little less of snoring the petty but the petty time should be somewhat higher of a sure to have a right here which we sell at Edgar Gift Shop. Hold on, the Queen was captured? And there are invaders. Is there anything else you know? Sorry, that is all I know. I am just a humble and eager. I get a scuffle out from Jesus to come and go back to many rooms. You want it? Yes! It's yours, my friend, as long as you have enough rubies. Do these gold coins cover it? Bruh! Enough coins, rubies. This is all I have on me. Rubies. Leave it on my bat credit card. The bat credit card? I can never leave without it. Narcissism. I can't give credit! Look, we don't have any rubies with us. Just give us a room so we can stay out of the store. No rubies. No room. Are you trying to scam us? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I do to scammers like you back in my city? I should bash your skull against this desk right now, you fat bastard! Sorry, bitch, I can't give credit. Get the hell out of my hotel, or I will slaughter all the of you where you stand. Try me, bitch! Is that a challenge? <laughs> I'll pay for the three gents. They seem like they need shelter. Mm. And that is enough to cover it, little accent. It's that you don't have to worry about me. Hand it to a lamp oil. Oh, oh, off. Did you recover me of your memories yet? Nope, nothing today. But tomorrow, I'll set up for the other side of the fjords and uncover the truth about who I am and how I lost my memory. That snowman just spoke. The snowman spoke and you two seem unfazed by it. Eh, nothing new to me. Probably a relative of Mr. Blizzard or something. Seven years in wizard school kind of lessened the wow factor in the extraordinary. The abnormal is sort of the norm where I'm from. Morshu, who the hell was that guy? That was so much of all a symbol and I wonder when we were well petty with all memories aside from this many of the world to be better was a huge excellent that resulted in this family shut up and please go in on a possible life and change journey to remain this memories. He seems like the kind of guy a money-hungry company would pump merchandise in its image to be consumed by mindless drones devoted to said money-hungry company. 
Thank you so much. Dibs on the window bed. Say, have I shed and some one who knows just like that? I was going to accompany by the men. It's a couple. You take room 602. I'll take room 603. We'll wake up at 9.30 for food and supplies. It's going to be dangerous out there if the innkeeper's words are anything to go by. Try not to oversleep. Wow, not bad. I guess Marshu cares a lot about quality. Dibs on shouting first. <laughs> okay, fine. But only if I get the window bed. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. <laughs> Mamma mia! This mattress is super comfy! Oh, you said it, Mario. I could just relax here. I haven't had a chance to unwind like this since... Well, damn. I can't even seem to remember when. Seems like you had a rough upbringing. I heard those wizard guys mention something about you having a rocky past. You want to talk about it? Sure. I didn't really get the chance to fully explain myself at the Ministry. I got caught up in all the action and it slipped my mind. Growing up wasn't easy. I didn't have a group of friends I could really call my own. Sure, I hung out with people. But I'd be lying if I said they were my best friends. You get me, Mario? Oh, I get you. Then there was my upbringing. Yeesh, that was a train wreck. My parents weren't exactly the most caring people in the world. They were more concerned about their legacy than their son's well-being. Always looking into the future while being blind to the past. They taught me things, ideals, ethics, viewpoints. None of them good, so to say. It rubbed off on me, and I've said and done some very uh, questionable things. But can you blame me? I was a dumb kid doing dumb things. We were all little shit gremlins at some point. Oh, I understand. Luigi and I would always try to one-up each other during tennis matches. We take jabs at, and we both try to steal the spotlight from each other. But, at the end of the day, bros will just be bros. I wish I could just chalk up everything to just goofing around. But then Voldemort came into my life. I was... forcefully inducted into his army. Made the latter half of my academic life a living hell. It was... rough, to say the least. And I've... done some pretty terrible things. But... Time flies, and life goes on. You settle down, start a family, and focus on other things. But just when I thought I could put my past behind me, boom. Wife's dead, the dark mark on my hand burns, and you are thrown in jail. Talk about a triple whammy of bad luck, am I right? Doesn't help that my son couldn't take the bullying. The curse of having the Malfoy name, I guess. Malfoy. A person should not be judged based on the actions of the ones who brought you into this world. Not your son, and certainly not you. You are more than your creator's mistakes. Thanks, Red. You know, there's been something that I've been meaning to tell you. Oh, and why is that? When I was thrown in that holding cell, I thought I was on my way to the Huskow. I tried to keep it cool, but it was hard to muster hope. That was until you and that cranky bat found your way into my cell. I knew then and there 
that there was hope. Because as soon as Snape came out of you, I knew that for the first time in my life, I found a group I can truly call my friends. That was why I was able to produce a Patronus. Because for the first time in a long while, you gave me a happy memory. Malfoy, that's sweet of you. I am honored to be your friend. Thanks, Red. And I promise, we are going to find Voldemort. Kick his ass, save your princess and kingdom, and find your brother. Thanks. I think about them daily. Peach, Luigi, and the toads back in the Mushroom Kingdom. They've never dealt with anything like this. I worry about them. I worry that we might not be enough. Hey, Mario, don't go thinking that. We are enough. We will find your friends, and we will stop Voldemort. Things might seem impossible now with so many roadblocks, but together we'll break through all of them. This, I swear. Now, rest up. We have a long day ahead of us. <sighs> Nighty night, Malfoy. Good night, Mario. <sighs> ah, spaghetti. <sighs> oh, ravioli. Never thought I'd be saying this, but I could use your guys' help right now. This task is proving to be more daunting than anything we've ever seen before. I know I'm supposed to be the brains of the League, but I'm completely lost on how to progress. I am making this all up as I go, and it is hard knowing that one bad decision would lead not only to my death, but to my new friends. How do you guys do it? Taking on one impossible threat after another like it's nothing. God, I wish you were here. I wish all of you were here. I haven't got a clue of what I'm doing, but I know I must continue. It's what you guys would want me to do. Not just for you, but for them. We're gonna fix things and bring you back. Just hold on tight, I promise. <sighs> ah, spaghetti. <sighs> ah, oh, ravioli. <sighs> Ah, mamma mia. You guys gotta wake up! Uh, Five uh, more uh, minutes. Uh, Slam! Uh, Yeesh. Rough night, Bruce? I said to wake up at 9.30! Yeah, so? It's 9.45! That's like 15 extra minutes of sleep, right? 15 minutes we could have spent tracking down Voldemort's minion. And we're on the clock, remember? The blizzard's calmer in the morning. Yeah, but... Plus, the line for the buffet is going to be full! <laughs> Someone's hangry. Get changed. The Cafe Harkinians is on the floor below the check-in, along with the gift shop, so we can grab food and gear. Hope the omelette line isn't packed. How many times have you died? I'll make sure to get well, impressed. It, it, it's such a relocus. Great. The crook. You are lucky. I am more curse if a little come to shop here. If you cross a pin, you'll be dead. Battle men will come to our needs. And your little company will cut us a little, little, and come handle yourself to a fender you like. I fight for my friends. I don't have any friends. Want to be my friend? Sure. I fight for Waddle Dee. <laughs> Man, how do Waddle Dees even eat? They don't even have a mouth. What I'm confused by is how Waddle Dees eat. Their face is a giant eyeball for Pete's sake. You have a problem with my face, jackass? Crikey! <laughs> What strange people. What the fuck did you say to me, you little shit? I ought to bash your head in with my mace. <laughs> hey, uh, Pipsqueak. You okay? Where are your parents? Oh, you call it a Pipsqueak, you overgrown parrot! Yeesh, Batman, what happened to you? I don't want to talk about it. 
looks like he picked a fight with the wrong crowd. Excuse me, do you mind if I sit here? Everywhere else is full. It's that snowman from before. Sure thing. Want some eggs? No, thank you. One of the benefits of being a snowman is that your body doesn't rely on nutrients. I see. Well, thank you again for paying for our rooms. It means a whole lot. Not a problem. You guys look like you needed rest. That's a pretty generous of you. Yeah, it was. Now, who the hell are you? What the hell are you? And why the hell are you? Me? Well, I'm Olaf. And I, uh... I... that's pretty much all I remember. You know that thing you get when you lose your memories? Memory deletus, loss of thinking privileges? Amnesia? Yeah, amnesia! I got that and I got it bad! can't remember anything aside from my name and being a snowman! Well, is there anything you remember? Well, I remember finding myself on a strange port with yellow bricks and a rainbow fountain. The locals found me washed up and they fixed me up. The only thing I lost was my memory, so I set out on a long, life-risking journey that would most likely result in certain death to fight them. A rainbow fountain? That must be Port Prisma. It's not far from the Mushroom Kingdom. Why on earth would a snowman be there? Uh, look, your guess is as good as mine. I don't remember anything. Do you have any leads? Just one thing. See those snowflake patterns all over my sexy body? From what everyone tells me, he resembles the Snow Queen. She lives somewhere around here. Call it wishful thinking, but I have an inkling that the queen of all things snow-related might be the key to unlocking the snow person's memories. Snowman, snow queen? Mm, yeah, that checks out. So, what's the story behind you three? A, a, a man dressed as a bat, a mustache red guy, and a boss blonde boy. What an odd trio. We are on a possibly life-ending journey to stop Voldemort. Voldemort? Sounds like a punk. Why does that name ring a bell? Say, I have an idea. Why don't you join us? We are both trying to cross the fjords. We can stop Voldemort and recover your memories together. No way! Really? We can always use the extra hand. Well, count me in. I'll join you. I promise I won't be a burden. What of these guests? Are they familiar? Good evening, lads. Just watch this spirit. Oh, hello, Merlin, the famous magician. Oh, I have not seen Marasmus. Some of them look familiar. Maybe that Waddle Do, that Mace Knight, or that Blonde Kid. No, it wasn't him. Was it his? Ah! It's there, but all scrambled. Don't distress it, Olaf. Let's -a go find your memories. Let's do this. I thought the snow was supposed to clear up in the morning. It is still pouring snow, but compared to how it is at night, it's far more tame. We have until nightfall. Not much shelter around these parts. Hey, Stinky! Do you know where to find this Ice Queen? Not a clue! Everyone I've talked to has pointed me to the Northern Fjords, but now that I am here, I realize that I do not know where exactly she is on these fjords. I'm no expert on royalty, but wouldn't a queen be living in a castle? Fair point. Princess Peach, Bowser, and the Daisy live in castles, and they're all royalty. Congrats! You figured out basic knowledge that even a preschooler would understand. A castle? Huh. I guess that makes sense. Then let's -a go find that castle! Alright! The only problem is that we don't know where it is. Did we remember to get a map back from the hotel? <coughs> Fuck! Well, shit! We're lost. God fucking damn it! If this damn blizzard wasn't so strong, I could pull up a satellite scan of the area. Or we could just ask for directions. 
I feel we as a society rely too much on technology to solve basic problems that are slowly yet exponentially leading to our downfall. Uh, based? Regardless, this snowstorm is making it impossible to know where we're going. And it's the middle of spring. This can't be another Hogsmaid scenario. Something must have triggered this blizzard, but what? Not a clue, Batman. Not a clue. Freaks having a hoedown! Hello, freaks! That's no hoedown, that's assault! Ah. Will you call it freaks? Freak? You're a talking snowman! And you're a talking turtle! Why, I oughta... Fucking turtles. Whoa, wait, look to the snow freak dragged with them. Undesirables 1, 2, and 3. I guess Bowser and Voldemort are onto us. Indeed he is. Bowser and Voldemort caught wind of your little scramble at the Ministry. Voldemort is especially pissed at you, Mouthboy. The dude went on a two-hour rant about you being a traitor. The apple falls far from the tree. Your father seemed like a cool guy who would have been on our side. Why does the son have to be such a pussy? Eh, I'm not into the whole Death Eater life. Well, 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 if it isn't Batman. Long way from Gotham, I see. How do you... Wait, those clothes, that shade of blue. I know who you are. If you're here, does that mean... Yep, he's here too. But you won't get a chance to see him after we freeze you. <laughs> please help me off. Olaf, please tell me you know how to fight. I am, um, well... I don't have a black belt or anything, but I'll improvise something! No! <laughs> huh? Ha! Ah, can't freeze what's already frozen, motherfucker! No more games. I want answers. I'll never talk. You won't make me. Okay. Breathe. Tell me what I want. Okay. I'll, I'll talk. It's true. He's here. It's too late. He has already taken this place. Over. Imprisoned in his blanket of ice and snow. And something else. I will not tell. Tell me! Never. For the Koopa Troop. For Voldemort. And Valor. Ha! Slam! Zaboy! What's up? Boom! Zadoom! Dude. Mamma mia! Batman! That guy had some valuable information! Uh, well then, that's going to be etched into my brain for the rest of my life. I... I think I need therapy. You're welcome for the save, fat man. I am not fat. I'll have you know that I've been working out ever since the invaders arrived. I wanted to buff up to be able to defend my store from them. But, alas, it is no going. Oh, the heck? Little snowman, why are you looking at me like that? You're making me very uncomfortable. Mm. Olaf, 
That is a lot of gear, even for you. Are you sure you're up for this? As sure as I'll ever be. I'll be sure to do my part to bring an end to this. No effort is too small when fighting for the greater good. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Olaf, it is time. Right! Ah! Mayday, we're going down. That is me. I remember you. Yes, I, I remember. You had that cute little shop. And I went there once to buy something, and there was this guy with a mask. And then... And then... It's hard to make out, but there was an explosion. Something happened. I see. Is he alright? Bro's got amnesia. Is there anything else you can recall? Aside from that mask guy and the weird voices, no. But it is slowly coming together. It's like a puzzle. We just need to gather all the pieces and voila, we have the whole picture. I like that way of thinking. We'll recover one piece at a time to restore your memories. I'm sure there'll be something more at the castle. Speaking of, hey, Oaken, do you know where the castle is? I figured you already knew the way. <laughs> it's a hole. I have amnesia, fit, not cross your mind. Ooh, I see. Well, if you want to get there, you need to cross to the other side of the fjord. But since it's below zero, you can easily skate across the ocean. Which reminds me, I can supply you with ice skates to cross the fjords. And since you are headed to the castle, I recommend you purchase some of my freshly grown fire and ice flowers, along with my stock of pow blocks and weapons. Normally I charge 20 each, but since times are desperate and you saved my life, these are on the house. We'll take them. Thank you, my friends. Don't be a stranger. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> This must be the place, but there's something wrong with it. Something I can't put my wooden fingers on. We'll have to cross this icy ocean to find out. Let's go! If anyone starts dancing, I will thunder uppercut you. There you go. Shit! Man, there they are. Those heroes the boss warned us about. Proper Aradelian greeting. Spike, fire the lava cannon! Sir, yes, sir! All cannons, fire! So, what's our plan for getting in? We go through the back to avoid detection. The Koopa Troop and Death Eaters could be lying in wait. Oh, sneaky. Also, is it just me, or did things suddenly become darker? And... hotter? Olaf, get down! Ah! What the fuck?! Change of plan. We are going through the front. Dodge those cannons! Those balls of lava? Here in this snowy wasteland? 
Something is not adding up. No time for thinking. Skate for your life. Yes. Ta-da! Oh. 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 Not exactly the stealthiest way in, but we're alive. And at the end of the day, that's a success in my book. Funny. I feel warm. Must have been the cannon fire. Now, let's get a move on. Oh, Lord, what the hell happened here? Now, I may have amnesia, but I know for sure that I do not remember this place being on fire with lava puddles everywhere. Mamma mia! And there are still batches of snow everywhere! Snowflakes are still falling! I sure hope those are snowflakes and not sulfur. Something doesn't add up. If Mr. Freeze is the alleged agent, then why would he have this place burned? It doesn't suit his style. His name is Mr. Freeze, not Mr. Incinerate. Let's see if my Ice Patronos can fix this mess. <sighs> nope. <laughs> Nothing? Well, it was worth a shot. I doubt Snape's Patronus is strong enough to fix something to this extent. If we had the core of someone who could conjure mighty gusts of cold wind with a wave of their hand, we could fix this mess. Do we know anyone like that? We could try taking Mr. Freeze's core, but I don't think we should mingle with villains. If only there was a Master of Winter we could find. Yeah, like royalty of atmospheric water vapor frozen into ice crystals that fall as white flakes or lie on the ground in a white lair. It's a real bummer we don't know anyone who matches those exact characteristics in this continent. Yeah, if only... Wait a minute, I think we do. You mentioned that a Snow Queen might be tied to your memories, correct? Yeah. Why? How is that going to help our predicament? That's the core we need to find here. Of course, it makes sense. If we can harness her core, Mario can absorb it and use its power to clean up this kingdom. Yeah, but we have no idea where she is. Yes, we do. Morshu said that the queen is being kept in her castle. Now, unless you know any other castles in this fjord, this is where the Snow Queen lies. Let's go see if the queen is in. It's a complete ghost town. Freeze, what have you done? It's funny. I clearly remember this place. People laughing and singing and having fun. But now it's so unfamiliar. Like returning to a childhood town only to see that everything's changed and the good people who once called you your friends have all moved away. Don't like this. All this space and not a character in sight. No. Sit down! Hey. Did you hear about what's going on in the Ministry? Oh? Do tell, do tell. Oh, wait till you get a load of this, bruh. So, after Mario and his friends defeated the Minsker, the position of Minister of Magic was overtaken by, get this, a lone Goomba. Oops. Ah, uh, no way. You're joking. I'm not. And here's the kicker. That very Goomba has just established a communist government throughout all of magical Europe, bruh. Yikes. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way that Goomba did that. Oh, he did. He did do that. Okay, this is epic. Bitch, I got a bachelor's degree in history. Communism never works, bruh. The wizarding world is fucked. Ouch. And you wanna know why this happened? You are not gonna believe this, man. Mario and his friends froze the Minister of Magic and a friend who Voldemort hates. And then, Demensker just yeeted them into the Shadow Realm. 
Mamma Mia! We did not think this through, did we? Shit! Man, if I was them, I'd feel pretty embarrassed for fucking up this badly! You caused more problems than you solved! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You said it. You said it, man. Oh, bro! Bro! Did I ever tell you about the mysterious ghost in the ministry? Okay, so let me tell you, man. Let me tell you this. So, there was this Koopa janitor, right? He was, you know, cleaning up in the Department of Mysteries. And, you know, I, I, I'm not going to go in there. Personally, you know, I thought it was creepy at first, but just seeing it, just hearing about this, this story right now, I'm not going, I'm not setting no foot in there, all right? You ain't gonna find my, you ain't gonna find my ass in there because of this story, all right? So, this man heard a strange voice in there, you know, like, like a womanly voice. And uh, one thing I gotta note, this man was white. Always gotta investigate. The white man gotta investigate. Like, why? Why you gotta investigate? But, man went to go investigate. Nobody knows where he's at. Nobody knows, like, I, where he disappeared to. What, what he inv investigated, what he saw. Bro, man has just disappeared out of here. Dog, I know you're pulling my leg. Bro, I'm not lying, bro. I swear to God. Hey, on my mama. You know I don't play about my mama, okay? Come on. Let's walk and talk, bro. So listen to this. So I, I heard this this story from like uh, some like other workers. You know, uh, they've been talking about like this eerie female voice and shit. Fucking shy guys. Yikes. We need to work on our planning skills. We don't have time to mope about the past. Right now, we need to focus on the present matter of locating the queen. Where's Olaf? Olaf. I do not trust these outsiders. Well, I do! And if they say there is a global threat on the horizon, we need to stop it before things get bad! I'm more than enough on my own, should a threat arise. You need to stay here where you belong. I don't want you getting hurt, all because of some foolish outsiders. That's the problem! I'm afraid you won't be good enough! None of you will be enough! If you're gonna take this thing down, we're gonna have to make alliances! When did you get so insightful, Olaf? I am tired of being a laughing stock! I want to make something of myself! Why don't you understand? Because I want to keep you safe. I've already made up my mind. I'm going whether you like it or not. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! I think I just unlocked another memory! Really? What is it? I... I think I used to live here. This was your home? It was, and it was beautiful. It was a bustling place filled with life. I remember I was off somewhere to stop something really bad from happening. And that's where I went to Oaken's and... the explosion. Arg! Everything's out of order! Take it easy, Snowboy. I remember a woman. A, a cult woman. I understand she was looking out for me, but I wanted to prove something. But who was she? Hmm. Mario thinks that woman's going to be the key to unlocking your memories. Maybe she's inside. Let's go check the castle out. <laughs> Shit. A Death Eater. And a Goomba, too. We need to sneak past them if we want to avoid any trouble. Hey, lady. Did you hear that the bosses are coming to Arendelle? Indeed, they would have been here sooner if their Koopa clown car hadn't run out of gas. Surprise Bowser hasn't switched to electric. I keep telling him that, but he says it's too costly. We can't afford it because dealing with Mario has been a total disaster from a financial point of view. Damn, that turtle is stubborn, isn't he? So, why do you think they are coming? 
From what I was told, they seek the Queen's core. Ah, oh, the Queen of Arendelle. We got her locked up tight in the castle dungeon. The dungeon? That's where they are keeping her. Who knew the Snow Queen also ruled this place? I feel bad for the people living here. Imagine living in such a dump. Don't these royal folks have servants to keep this place spotless? I'm pretty sure whoever lives here wouldn't be concerned with the castle's hygiene while it's, you know, stolen. Cut the chit-chat. You heard the Goomba, right? The Queen is somewhere in the dungeon of this wrecked place. Bowser and Voldemort are on their way. We need to get their core before they do. Oh, where would someone keep a dungeon? Usually underground. I should know, because I have a dungeon in my house. What? Why do you have a dungeon in your basement? We don't use it for prisoners anymore, if that's what you're thinking. It's mostly just for storage nowadays. I was thinking you used it for, like, weird-ass dungeon porn or something kinky. That's disgusting. Still, the fact that you have a dungeon in your basement is problematic. My ancestors were assholes. Keep your eyes peeled for the dungeon entrance. Does this painting truly capture my image? Of course it does. I didn't miss a single detail. Did you make me a sea creature? What the fuck, man? Do I look like I have gills? Well, I, uh, I assume that you were a sea creature. You look, uh, amphibious. I am not a pathetic piece of aquatic shit. I am a pathetic piece of land shit. Get it right. Love them or hate them, you can't deny they make some really good art. Sometimes you need to separate art from the artist. <laughs> Except for that one, that makes you want to commit flamethrower. There are two types of paintings. Ones with too little detail, and ones with too much detail. There may be a hidden passage here. Knowing abandoned castles, there is likely a secret entrance somewhere. I got it! Start rummaging through the bookshelf. That's oddly specific. One of those books could be a lever. Begin searching. Okie dokie. Where on earth could that lever be? Uh, let's see. If I was a lever, where would I be? Huh? Huh? What's up, Frosty? Does that guy in the picture look familiar? Kind of. Like, I've seen that face before, but he looks like he's been long dead. Did I live here? Why would a snowman live here? Couldn't find a lever, but I did find a charade box. Must have been used by the minions during their break. <gasps> Charades? Mario, give me that shit! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, it's coming back to me! I did live here! I had a cute little room, and I used to hang out and play games with... with, with I lost it. Yet. At least we know you're familiar with this place. Do you think you know which book has a lever? Huh. I do. I do. Yes. I stumbled upon it by accident one day. Let's see here. Uh, no. Nope. Not you. Uh-uh. Nope. Get the fuck out of my way, you stupid book. Aha! Here you are. A warp pipe? Oh, yeah, that confused me too. Shall we dive down? Down we go! <laughs> this dungeon is super cold! And outside it was over a hundred degrees! Oh, 
<laughs> Even so, we need to find that girl and get out of here. Hey, Mario, Batman, over here, Mr. Freeze locked us up down here in Arendelle's prison, and he's leveled the place. If I was president, this would have never happened, believe me. I would have launched nukes at that frosty fuck yesterday if I was still in office. Biden doesn't have the balls to do what needs to be done. Should we free these guys too? I don't see why not. Thank you! Thank you, freaks. I was stuck in there for months, and it was awful. Believe me. Let me tell you, the Koopa Troop and the Death Eaters do not run a good jail. And I've been to many jails in my life. Believe me. Which cell is the queen being held in? Down the hall and to the left. October 1st! <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, that's not a fuzzy! That's my wife! <laughs> so, what's the plan for getting past those guys? Oh, Mario's got a great plan. Watch and learn. Hey, Stinky. It's good. What the fuck? Heavy is credit to Conga! <laughs> oh, ho, ho, Conga! This is fun! Da, 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 da. Come sing with me! Da, 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 da. Twenty minutes later. Da, 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 da. We will never speak of this again. It was kind of fun, though. Never again. Don't be such a buzzkill, Batman. Hard to let loose and go with the flow. Be chill. Like me. Olaf! Was that your voice? Who the fuck are you? Identify yourself before I take this carrot and shove it up your ass! It's me. Don't you remember? I have thinky thinky panic. Oh, that's... The horrible. Where are you? I am close. Follow my voice. Okay. Uh, gotcha. Don't. Whoa! Woohoo! Yo, oh! Mera! We've been detected! Freezes goons. But Red. You're observant, Bat. Tell me, is this Mr. Freeze's doing? It doesn't add up. Mr. Freeze freezes things, not melts them. This is indeed the boss's handiwork. He's received some new cores, upgrading his fire and ice abilities, thanks to his new partner, Voldemort. But enough chit-chat. Time for you to burn an eternal flame. Please defeat these guys and make it fast. Their very presence is starting to make me sweat. I want answers. Where is he? Uh, well, he. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't tell me uh, anything. The truth. Where is Mr. Freeze? Uh, I'll talk. Find Atahala. Find Atahala. Find Freeze. But beware. He can burn things now. You don't stand a chance. Where is Atahalan? <laughs> You'll never find it. Not in a million years.
that was unnecessarily violent. Couldn't you have just knocked him out instead? Lady, you do not tell Batman how to Batman. Well, aside from the needless maiming, you did save my life. I thank you for that. Hang on, let me get a good look at you, your majesty. Olaf, please don't make this weird. I think he's going to make it weird. <sighs> yep, he made it weird. Yeah. So, I see you also freed all of the prisoners here too. I deeply I thank charged. you for that. Arendelle is forever in your debt. How can I repay you? Oh, that's easy. We need your ice powers. My what? Oh, the entire kingdom is burning. And outside, the blizzard is out of control. We can restore it with your ice powers, Snow Queen. Uh, roar? You are the Snow Queen, right? The one we almost got killed to rescue? Oh dear, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I... I'm not the Snow Queen. Huh? The Snow Queen is my sister. I'm Queen Anna. Are, Are you shitting, shitting me? me? Yeah, sorry. I appreciate the save. But I'm not the one you are looking for. You mean we risked our lives crossing the fjord to save the wrong queen? This is fucking stupid. Oh. <sighs> dovoto specificare quale putana arvememo dovoto salvare. At least we saved one ruler. I guess that's a dub worth taking. Sorry. I wish I could help, but my sister Elsa is a lone wolf. No one knows where she is. <coughs> but <coughs> I do. <coughs> where is the Snow Queen? Do you think you can scare me with your threats? <laughs> because you can. Please don't hurt me. Where is she? It, she's in the dark forest. It's the dark forest. But you'll never find her, Mr. Freeze. You'll go mad before you do. <laughs> Please don't crush my skull. How about I do it anyway? Oh! That fire bro was already down! There was no need for that! Although I refuse to kill anyone, not even a fly, the horrible things they have done warrant an equally terrible beatdown. I guess that is the law of equivalent exchange. No, it's not! It really isn't! Are you an alchemist? No, but- Then shut the fuck up. Okay then... Huh? Olaf? Huh? I am starting to get uncomfortable. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Please, stop. Huh? Heading out so soon? Yeah, I am. Something's wrong, I can tell. I'm perfectly fine. I'm a queen, Olaf. People lie to me all the time. Now what's wrong? It's nothing of concern. It's my sister, isn't it? She thinks I'm not ready for this. We fought a few moments ago. She doesn't think I can handle myself on a mission like this. Oh, Olaf. All of my life, people have only seen me as the clown. The comedic relief. The jester. That's all they see. I don't want that to be what defines me. I want to prove myself to her. And everyone. Olaf, we are not bound to one archetype. We forge who we are. Whether we're a funny snowman, a hero, or both. Your fate is yours to make. And there may be people out there who try to shove you in a box. They will try to relegate you to one role for the rest of your life. But know that no matter what they say, no matter what anyone thinks, you can make your own future. Anna? It's you! I remember you! Well, not everything, but a lot! <coughs> Miss you, buddy. 
Well, that solves a good amount of the puzzle. If he knows you, then I bet he knows your sister. Of course he knows Elsa. There are a million people in the world named Elsa. I need to see her to remember her. Let's get out of here and find her. This Elsa is the key to saving this place. Danke, Kamerad. Excellent. Amazing, Kamerad. Keep it up. Yeesh. You think you can hold up the fort until we find Elsa and fix this mess? Since you freed a lot of Arendellians, I'd say we can. We'll work on the repairs while you find her. Okie dokie. Which way is this dark forest? Just head north from here and you'll find it. Okie dokie. Let's -a go. Hmm. That's funny. My dusty bitch senses are tingling. That. What a Voldemort men? No. It can't be. Mario, I finally found you. Wait a minute. You're that Putana from the Ministry. But you are dead. The men got to kill you. Hermione Granger. You look good. I always knew you could rock that goth aesthetic. Silence, insect. No wand. That's new. Even for you. If you all hadn't frozen Harry and I, none of this would be happening. Voldemort's rise is all your fault. Look what you've done to me, Mario. Mamma mia! I'm sorry about the fight, but you're alive! If you join us, we can stop him together! Join him? After you defied your place and bastardized the Ministry and burnt it to the ground, leaving it in the metaphorical hands of a Goomba. Join the ones who killed Harry Potter and soiled his good name? Not a chance. Harry and the Ministry were doing a good job of soiling their name on their own. They didn't need our help. You joke! People are suffering and you are joking! Hey, I don't see you doing anything to help. I am correcting the wrongs. I am here to kill you. And with your death, I will take your cause and use them to stop Voldemort. It is the right thing to do. Or you could join us! We have the same end goal! There is no need for violence! I've already made up my mind. I'll start with you, Mario. Here I come! Mario, no! Suffer as I have. There's got to be another way. This is the only way! Surrender your core to darkness! Never! Take this! Patronus Power! <laughs> that Patronus doesn't belong to you! Give it back! And it certainly does not belong to you, either! Then I'll rip it out of you! Shadow Strike! <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on, Mario! Get up! You need to stop her! And fast! Don't let her win! Send that mudblood packing! If you want to get to him, you're gonna have to get through me, you whore. With pleasure. Say hi to the devil for me. Huh? 
No way. It's that guy from the Batcave. The Shadow Man. So that's the guy that led us here. Who would have thought it? Oloth, is he with you? I've never seen this guy in my life. Leave them alone, Hermione. Your fight's not with them. And why should I listen to you, rodent? Who the hell are you? A man on a mission, nothing more. It is paramount these guys survive. Now leave. Final warning. I don't even know who you are. You have a lot of balls trying to stand up to the Minister of Magic reincarnated. If you stand with them, then die with them. <laughs> it's your decision. Anyone who gets in my way is my enemy. And you are in my way. Chaos Spear! Ah! No! What is this? Mario! Get on and the others to safety. I'll handle this fool. Don't want the queen of this land caught in the crossfire. R right. Come on! Good to know that that guy's on our side. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Had enough? Right behind you! Don't show your pathetic face around me ever again! Thank you uh, again for getting rid of her. Mario and the others are on their way to the Dark Forest. Hmm. We've got a long way to go, but I can feel that they are the ones. I'll be keeping a close eye on their escapades. This has proven to be very interesting. Interesting? The ones? What are you talking about? Who even are you? Call me Shadow. Sh Shadow? Do you think that guy finished Hermione off? It is hard to say. I hope he did. Hermione is as resilient as she is stubborn. I have a gut feeling we'll be seeing her again. This time, we'll be prepared. What I want to know is who that guy who saved us was. We never got his name. Though I swear I saw him somewhere else before. Maybe in the Olympics? Or very briefly in the annual Smash Bros tourney. Whoever he is, he was definitely powerful. I'm just glad he's on our side. Still, I'm a bit suspicious about his true intentions. Well, let's not dwindle on that too much. We have a world to save and memories to unearth, remember? Let's go onward! Mamma mia! This a blizzard starting to pick up again! We need to wrap things up ASAP! Look! I... I think I see someone by those rocks! I see her too! And I feel her. Her core is calling to me. Could it be? <laughs> yo, yo! <laughs> I think it might be. She seems like she's in trouble. Let's go save her! Hello! It's over, Elsa. Surrender your core to us! If you want my core, pry it from my cold, dead chest! <laughs> 
Oh, that can be arranged. Do you even know who you are dealing with? <laughs> if you had any delusions of victory in your mind, I suggest you let it go. <laughs> when they said she was powerful. Great. More cannon fodder. Leave this forest or be frozen where you stand. Yike! That's a rude welcome back. Oh, is that you? Yes, it's me. Can you please refrain from shish kebabing my friends? <laughs> I'm surprised you're still alive, Snowman. Everyone thought you died in that fiery accident. Well, last time I checked, I am alive. So, yeah, guess that means I can handle myself. I knew it was foolish to trust those outsiders. And here you are again, aligning yourself with more intruders. They are here to help, as was the Masked Swordsman and his crew. I'm more than enough on my own. I can handle this my way. Who the hell are you guys anyway? Why are you here? This may sound far-fetched, your majesty, but we need your power. What? The snowstorm is out of control, and Arendelle is burning to a crisp. And it's all thanks to Mr. Freeze and his new powers. We need your core in order to stop him and reverse the damage he caused. And why should I trust you? I trust them. The same way you trusted Meta Knight and his army? Look where that got you. These guys eat Oaken and Anna. So what? I still don't trust you. I figured the Snow Queen would be a cold person, but damn. Stay out of my way. I've got business to attend to. Business? To destroy Freeze at Adahallen. What else? I'll say you do not know who you're dealing with. I've dealt with Freeze for years. With his new fire core, he's more powerful than ever. You need to fall back and let us handle it. Run while you still can. Cowards run. I win. She's gonna get herself killed! We need to help her! We'll never get there on foot. I know. The connection seems stable here. Alfred, can you read me? Loud and clear, Master Wayne. Whatever do you need? Directions to Atohallen. Of course. Let's see. Judging by the current weather patterns, it appears you will die a horrible death in the blizzard should you aspire to traverse via foot. Shall I deploy the Batmobile, sir? Do it! The fuck? New tech that allows me to summon my vehicles anytime, anywhere. Hop in, we're going to Guatemala. Atohala, sir. Whatever, show us the way. <laughs> First, you want to take a right, then go straight. Make a left, turn here, pivot northeast. Good, yes, good. Now, continue forward until you reach a fork in the road. Take the right path, and then, and then, right, go, Shit! The forest is messing with the GPS! Guess we need to rely on instinct. There's a three-way fork in the road. Which way should we go? Go left. No, right. Straight! I trust you, Mario. A two-way path. Well... Let's go left again. Let's go right. Multi-track drifting! Bruh. Let's go left. Shit, another fork of the road. Well, left again? Let's go right. Let's -a go backwards. Right it is. Wait, 
What? God damn it, we just went in circles. Damn it! Freeze has to be here. That must mean we're getting close. Look! I'm sorry. Rest easy. It will all be over soon. I promise. I told you, Elsa, you can't find him alone! Shut up! This is my responsibility! Stay out of my way! If we follow her, we can reach the glacier! Just to try not to drive like my brother. Look! There she is! Walking on water. Okay, if anyone in this car is secretly Jesus, now's the time to reveal yourself. We don't need Jesus. We have technology. <laughs> Fuck! You better hurry! The blizzard is starting to intensify! Lava balls! Buckle up. This is going to be a bumpy ride. It looks like they're nowhere coming. Terrible welcome reception. There it is! Also Holland! We need to hurry! Blizzards are getting worse, the weather is getting hotter! At this point, how could anyone not believe climate change? Everyone out! <laughs> Sorry about the car. Don't sweat it, Olaf. I have a million of them back home. So, this is Uganda. Ito Holland, the river of memories. Look, there's an opening. Elsa must have gone through here. Let's go! Alright! Whoa, 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 whoa! Surrender your core to my Dark Masters, Elsa. They'll be here soon. Never! I'll slaughter you like the pig you are, Freeze! All the lives you took. The pain you caused. I'll make sure your death is slow and painful. Come at me, bro! <laughs> it's futile, Elsa. These new powers are too much for you. Prepare for me to dominate you. Not so fast, Freeze. Ah, Batman. How ice of you to drop by. That pun hurts worse than my dad's beatings. As you can see, the Snow Queen and I were having some Netflix and chill. Cut the puns. Explain yourself. It was I who gave Arendelle the cold shoulder. And thanks to my newfound cores, harvested from two elemental misers, I can control fire and ice. I am no longer tethered by the weaknesses of my past. My dark masters Bowser and Voldemort are to thank. New powers, same old freeze. You're not sending me to the cooler, Batman. 
you've occupied this land for long enough, Freeze. Time to meet your end. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Incendio! Today's forecast calls for a blizzard! You need to chill out with your thunder uppercuts, Batman. <laughs> Hasta la vista, Batman. <laughs> what? Leave my friends alone! Oh, <laughs> What do we have here? A cute little snowman? What are you going to do? Sing a song? Tell a joke? Go on, amuse me! You think you can stand up to me, Mr. Freeze? You are just a funny, talking snowman! I am more than a funny snowman! <laughs> 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 Time to kick some ice. Huh? Thanks, Malfoy. No mention it, buddy. Prepare yourself, Mr. Freeze. Here I come! <laughs> Careful with those flames. This is a sacred glacier. It will all melt eventually. <laughs> Stay cool, plumber boy. Eat explosions, bitch! Padringo! <laughs> There's your weakness. The armor's exposed! Set the- <laughs> No. uh No oh, fuck nuggets! You're all alone, snowman. All your friends are incapacitated. Now prepare. To die for nothing. Burn in eternal flame! I don't think so! Eat carrots, motherfucker! No! My sub zero armor! I, I can't survive without it! At least it's cold here. But my powers! No! <gasps> All right, you beat Freeze, Olaf. You're a hero. Thank you. Truly. Olaf, you've grown. I remember as if it were yesterday when I first made you. You were always a bright light through everything we've been through. I just got so blinded into seeing that cheerful side of you, I, I never knew about your true desires. I've been selfish. I've been stubborn. I am sorry. Olaf. All of you. Thank you. What a pity. I miss the main event. That voice. It's him. My masters. Bowser. Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. That laugh. You. You. You were the ones who caused that accident. You're the reason why I had amnesia. In so you have allied with Voldemort. Indeed. That wrinkly testicle must be Voldemort. You must be Batman. I've heard stories about you. And that over there must be Olaf. Oh, and the traitor, Malfoy. How's your father been? Pretty good. 
I was not being dead holding up. I am more powerful than ever before thanks to these cores. Observe. But I am not here to harvest a core for myself. I am here to harvest one for my right hand man, Bowser. Right hand man! Why should I get all the spoils of war? Bowser deserves a piece of the pie, and I intend to give him the coldest slice. Elsa, I take you, Crucio! <laughs> Sweet, the floating snow cone. Down the hatch! <laughs> Oh, I won't let you! I won't let you take this away! Yeah! No! Oh. <laughs> Mario, you have Elsa's core! Oh. Wowie zowie! Mario! You ruin everything! Calm your temper, my fiery friend. Voldemort never breaks a promise, and there is still one more ice user among us, Mr. Freeze. No, please, what are you doing? You have failed me. Consider this your punishment. I take you, Mr. Freeze. Crucio! <laughs> oh, yes! I can get used to this! Mario! Time to freeze! No, you. Not now. We need to retreat. See you soon, Mario. <laughs> they got away. I'm sure we'll run into them again. Mario, you got the power. You know what to do. I got it. <laughs> Wicked! You've done me proud, boys! I gave him a bloody drubbing! And that takes care of that! Alrighty. Now let's head back to the Bat Cave and plan our next course of action. I'm coming with you! Huh? I'm coming with you! I remember everything. I was joining a masked swordsman and his crew. We were off to Bowser's castle to stop an evil entity. But there was an explosion. Many people got taken, including a guy in a suit of armor. Next thing I knew, I was at Port Prisma. I need to finish what I started. I'm coming with you! I wouldn't have it any other way. Welcome to the team, Olaf. Alrighty. Into the Batwing, people. It's time to plan our next course of action. Today is a good day. God bless America. Mamma mia, we searched everywhere and no sign of Mario. Any luck finding your bro, Ed? The dice. We searched his entire kingdom top to bottom. 
You still think they might be here? Uh, my bro isn't the kind of person to sit in one place for long. Aren't those the same guys from the hotel? They are! They seem to be in a hurry! Let's follow them! Not so fast, Luigi! Oh no! It's Larry! Hello, Luigi. Long time no see. But enough chit chat. The bosses want you. Luigi, you know this guy? Larry Koopa. He's part of the Koopalings, Bowser's most dangerous batch of underlings! Not just Bowser, but Voldemort too. While they search for your brother, we were tasked with finding you. The other Koopalings are scattered across the globe looking for you. I guess today's my lucky day. I found you first. I get both the glory from the bosses and bragging rights. A win-win! Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Larry. You wanna throw down? Then let's go! Oh no! Oh, you're good! Take this! Surrender to me! You're going down! Not today! Hey! What the? That's cheating! Gun! Uh, hey! Watch the hair! No, my power! No! If you value your life, leave! Okay, okay, I gotcha! I'm out of here! You never even saw me here! I'm gone! Adios, amigos! Uh, thank you so much! Who are you? I am Meta Knight. You must be Luigi. And that short boy must be Edward Elric. Who are you calling short, you overgrown gumball? I've seen alchemy like that before. From your brother, Al. Wait, you know Al? He served aboard my ship. Unfortunately, he was lost. Lost? We were on the halberd, ready to ambush Bowser's castle. We heard the whispers of an evil entity rising, and we were offered aid from many other heroes, your brother being one of them. Unfortunately, they were all lost to Voldemort. Core is fully harvested. We're the only ones left. Then that means... Yes, he's gone. But do not fret. We can bring them all back. Bring them back? But how? With these, Holy Mary Mother of Joseph. Koopaling's wands harbor a powerful gemstone, one filled with a strange magic. If we gathered the gemstone from all the Koopalings, we could potentially reverse the core harvesting process to bring everyone back to their physical form. We need to find those gem pieces, and the only ones who possess them are the Koopalings. We're spread thing of numbers, with many of us trying to rebuild the halberd. Do you think you guys can help us find the gemstones? So instead of avoiding the Koopalings, you want us to actively look for them? You Precisely. Will help me capture my we'll point. do it. Wait, what? The Koopalings are dangerous! It's the only way to get Al back, to get everyone back. Besides, your brother would do the same. He would, but... Oh, all right. Let's -a go find the Koopalings! We're counting on you. Koopalings are scattered all over the world looking for us. Where should we go first? Well, as my bro would say, let's see where the wind takes us! Welcome back, everyone. And it seems you brought along a new partner. Why, Master Bruce, I didn't think you the type to build snowmen. Though... Because of him, it is getting a little bit chilly in here. Hi, I'm Olaf, and I'm a hero! Splendid. Now then, where are the boys off to next? Let's see. Aha! There, rock bottom. Threat level, high. A trench hidden deep within the ocean. That's the second place that Shadow Hedgehog guy marked. Speaking of, we did have a run-in with him. It was brief, but he didn't say much. He got us out of a pickle. So he's on our side, sir? 
As it stands, yes. But who is he? Why is he interested in us? I guess we need to wait and see. We need to make haste to Rock Bottom. Just a slight problem. Rock Bottom is in a deep trench in the ocean. And unless any of us has magic mushrooms or flowers that can help us breathe underwater, we're basically committing suicide. Leave that to me. Feast your eyes on this. Smoke weed every day. Oh, hey! I think I've seen Kristoff use that plant before! This is Gillyweed. Using my magic, I can condense these into edibles. Just chew on them like you would taffy and we'll breathe underwater no problem. Oh, can't even restrain your dismay not too long ago. I see nothing wrong with this particular scenario. This tastes awful. It's still better than that butter beer shit. Quickly, to the bat sub. We need to find that trench. Your dick away, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. Someone is always watching. <laughs>